day four, March 4th, 2023. Today's already proving to be a tough day. So, um, what is better than sit with whatever we are in front of? Um, so yesterday we established a, um, no expectation mindset towards our meditation practice. And then um, today we're going to sit with whatever is in front of us. So 15 minutes starts now. So bringing yourself into the body, right? Arriving at whatever shape that you're taking, sitting or kneeling or laying down, propped up, not propped up. Just take a moment. Settle in. And then immediately begin to scan the body. And if you already have like a way to drop in, just go ahead and do that, right? You don't have to go the way that um, I'm offering. So basically, um, dropping in whichever way you see fit. I, I happen to start with the body individually, kind of scanning up and down. And then once that is done um, looking at the body as a whole and that shifts me to the breath because when I connect to the breath it drops me into the totality of, of my body the, the totality of self the physical self anyway and that's where I start it's it's always that's just works for me really well that's how I um, tune in to the the totality of the physical self and once I have that then Generally, I have something that I want to be doing, right, in my meditation. Whether that's something that I'm thinking about, whether that's something that I'm dealing with, whether it's some kind of a pain that I'm processing or some kind of wound that I'm working on, or whether that's a specific object. Like sometimes I don't want to do any of that, right? Sometimes I just want to, sometimes I just want to sit in breath and in body or in sound or in um, watching something specific. So whatever it is that that you choose to sit with today, right, whatever it is that you choose to sit with. For me today, it's the It's the discomfort of, of where I am in. And there's a huge discomfort and it's really deeply rooted in my, my wound itself. And then I know exactly where it is and what it is. I know exactly what I am looking at and whether you know or you don't know it does it doesn't really matter because sometimes you don't know yet right sometimes um, it still is revealing itself specifically so just kind of sit just just the purpose of today's 15 minutes it's to just sit with something whether we know or don't know what it is it, it, it doesn't really matter you, you're just there right and you're willing to you're willing to sit with where you at right now right now and whether you have nothing going on emotionally or whether you have tons going on that's irre irrelevant really just Sit with where you at and even maybe ask yourself, where am I at right now? Where am I at? 
where am I at? What is here? What is here in front of me? What is what is here right now? And then maybe using the breath to anchor yourself in case it feels big. Like for me, it's, it's, it's big. It's really, really big. It's really, really, it runs really deep in my psyche. It goes really, really far back, right? Maybe possibly even into other lifetimes, who knows? I, I think it does. Where are you at? Where are you at right now? Find the breath. Use the breath to root yourself in the here and now. And use the breath to feel the aliveness of the here and now. Because no matter where you are and no matter what is going on and what you're going through, as you're looking at the breath and you feel it coming in and out, there's aliveness in there. There's this, there's life, right? There's um, life that that is somewhat separated from from whatever's going on in your life situation, if if that makes any sense. It can be separated if if you you can look at it separately it's it's possible and that's the space right that's the space that you're creating around whatever it is that you're sitting with and then kind of you know whatever shows up if there are fears and or emotions or anxiety, you know, it, generally speaking, um, we sit with, with discomfort, you know, I mean, it's possible to sit with um, pleasant stuff too, but <laughs> it's, we don't really do that. Um, like pleasant stuff doesn't need to be processed, even though I think there, there could be a case made for um, some pleasant stuff should be also sit with and processed but um i think because the unpleasant stuff it's so unsettling i think um generally that's that's where we go that's where we start you know or that's what we sit with So again, notice if the breath helps you create um, that nice, comfortable space or not comfortable between you, the physical self, and whatever it is that you're sitting with, which is really not physical, even though you may feel it somewhere in the body, like maybe there's um maybe there's some um like burning you know in the heart space or the solar plexus or not in the stomach right it could be tension in your jaw and your shoulders like yes the discomfort comes up physically as well so you can really go about it the opposite direction too you can start looking at the at the at the physical, right? You can start looking at the at the sensation that you're feeling. And then from there, you follow the threat of the topic itself. Like what is what is the cause of that? So you can 
you can go about it both ways. You can start in the in the topic in the cause and then go to the sensation, or you can start in the sensation and trail it into the into the into the cause into the topic. Whatever it is that you're sitting with, though, just sit with it. Right, especially if it's if it's extra tugging at your heart or in your head. You know, fifteen minutes um, is a long time to just kind of be present with something, and you don't have to engage, right? Um, at least not today, we're not engaging with it today. It's just right here or wherever you have it positioned when you close your eyes, it's like somewhere, whether it's in front of you or next to you or, you know, in front of you on the floor or, you know, somewhere on your right or on your left, like it's somewhere, right? And you're not engaging, you're not, you, you're maintaining that, that space between you and whatever it is that you're watching. That's what we're doing today, anyway. You're just, you're just, you're like, yeah, I'm here and you're there. I, I, I see you. I see you. Maybe we'll engage with it tomorrow or the next day. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see where it goes. But not, right now you're just here and then whatever you're sitting with is, is over here. And you're just like, yep, yeah, I, I see you. I see you. How big is it? Can you kind of, you know, in your mind, do you envision it to have size? Do you envision it to have shape? Do you envision it to have color, temperature, texture? Do you envision it to be sharp or soft or light or heavy? Like, does it have a density? Does it have a mass? Right, all of that. Look at, look at it from like all possible angles, but with a space, right? You're over here, you're still over here. And whatever you're looking at, it's over there. And then notice if there is a, you know, Notice if there is an exchange. Notice if it's pulling. Notice if it wants to like grab you somewhere and maybe the physical sensations get bigger. Notice if any of that is happening, right? So you're kind of like, you're witnessing the, you're witnessing the connection that you have with it, as well as the thing itself. And that's it, that's, that's, all, that's all we're doing. What is it? Do we know what it is? And even if we don't know, right? If we don't know, what does it feel like? What does it look like? How big is it? I mean, for me, I, I got it. Like I got the size, I got the I got the tug on my heart, and then deep in my solar plexus, I got it. Like I can see the cord, you know, that's connecting me to it. Um, I can um, I know the emotion, I know the wound. So, you know, put some words on it. Put some specific words on it. Make it a little, make it a little more concrete. Again, the breath is always there, especially when you find yourself in like slightly being overwhelmed by it, even though you're not engaging, right? Which is clearly where I am with it right now. 
like the breath is just such a good way to stay away like to root to stay in the body right i can feel the 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 burning like the breath really helps like i can like ah oh, there's the burn right there And it's like I send the breath all the way into the ground, right? So I root myself into the ground. So I'm not just floating, like untethered in like untethered way, just like ah, completely discompopulated, right? There's a, the, the, the breath brings me, roots me into earth itself. Okay, 15 minutes done. So just bring yourself back to the breath and you final thoughts on what are you sitting with today what are you in front of or what is in front of you both what is in front of you and what are you in front of and there's nothing else you don't get, go anywhere farther than that you don't go explore you don't go running around you just like what is immediately in front of you what is the thing that you're looking at what is the thing that you are in front of and then coming back to the breath Wow, that was quick for me. That was super quick, 15 minutes. Don't even know what happens. Gone. Take a big breath in through your nose and out of your mouth. Oh, oof. Maybe there's more breaths. If you are where I am, maybe there's more breaths that need to come, and that's okay. So um, thank you guys for joining me today. I will be back tomorrow unless I have like a huge urgency to do this today again, which is a possibility. So if that happens, then I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. And we'll see if, um, you know, if, if I'm not the only one. So um, I will see you tomorrow. Um, hang in there, keep up the good fight. Um, and then sit with, watch, gently and carefully from a distance with whatever is immediately in front of you. Um, thank you um, for joining me. Um, let me know how that goes. Um, let me also know if there are any particular topics maybe that you want me to throw into the mix. Um, otherwise, it's going to be very personal over here and that's all good. Um, from my heart to yours, always, always. Namaste, I see you. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow.